effect on you. I mean, if they put the sihr in the grave, that will have an effect of death. You feel yourself as if you're tired, you don't want to do anything, you feel like lying down all the time. Even if you sleep, you get up, you're always tired. You're not having any pleasure in life, and you're thinking about death, and you'll be dreaming about dead, dead people. If either dead people, you see them alive, or live people, you see them dead, or you see yourself dead, or you see graves, or you see a uh, ceremony of uh, death, a ceremony, how do you say that? Uh, yeah, janaza, you see janaza, and by any way, or you see your teeth falling, teeth falling down, that is also related to death. By any way, you see something related to death, you see? And that shows you that the sihr has been made in Qabristan, uh, in a cemetery, or by using something related to death. Uh, so what was I saying? So, so the people see in their dreams what is related um, the, the kind of sihr that has been made. And when I wish to be gentle, so people were dreaming about fish. And some people see fresh fish, some people see dead fish, some people see uh, fried fish, some people see dry fish, etc. And we were wondering what is this fish thing. And finally we understood that, that the sorcerers have a technique in uh, sihr. What they do, they put the sihr on a hook and they put the hook in the water and they wait for a fish to come to take it and then they release the fish in the water. And now the fish has gone with your sihr. Uh, so how do you think you can find it? Uh, and according to what your fish has become, you're going to see fresh fish or dead fish or fried fish or dry fish according to what happened to your fish. Uh, and when I reached Reunion Island, uh, people were dreaming about uh, sharks. That means your fish has been now eaten by a shark. So you must look for a shark now. So, for example, for this sihr of fish, you see how complicated it is? So, we take the verse, I mean, if we were using the ancient methods, how can you find that fish? Subhanallah. Uh, so, so uh, what do we say? We take the verse, فَالْتَقَمَهُ الْحُوتُ وَهُوَ مُلِيمُ فَلَوْلَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ لَلَبِثَ فِي بَطْنِهِ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ The fish ate him, and if it was not the tasbih he had made, he would stay. He would have stayed in his stomach until the day of Qiyam. You see, and Subhanallah. And this verse talking about Yunus alayhi salam, it's like working in exactly for our sihr fish problem, uh, fish sihr problem. You see, and we add that in the water, and the person is just going to wash with that water, and the, that sihr is going to go away. So this is now the method for the symbolic sihr. So we have 45 verses for 45 different kinds of sihr and the way to recognize it and the way to diagnose it, to diagnostic it, uh, it is here. Uh, we're going to distribute to give you these papers. So this is, yes, how to recognize. Oh, it is the verses themselves. No. That is the verses. But the diagnostic is not here. It is coming? Okay. So it will, inshallah, it will be here by the time you finish. Anyway, the whole of my book, you can get it on my website, you can get it for free in English. Well, we didn't print it yet in English. Or inshallah, if someone feels like breaking, printing it, he can just take it and print it and do what he wants with it. And if you feel like translating it in Bengali or Hindi or whatever language you want, just go ahead. Just go ahead, print and translate and do what you want to. Yes? Is the original in Arabic? No, the original is in French, but I translated it from French to English and from French to Arabic. It does exist in Arabic, in French and English now. Where can I get the Arabic one? I'll send to you by email. Inshallah, it's on my website. But my website was locked a few weeks ago and we did a new one, so everything's not yet there. But uh, if you send a message, I'll send it to you. Yes? If you haven't finished that, huh? yeah. I'm wondering if he was to happen to find that exact fish that the Sahara and he ate that fish, would he get double sahara? <laughs> 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 well, that case never happens. We're going to wait for it to happen. <laughs> well, that case never happens. We're going to wait for it to happen. Yes? What? 
Yeah, yeah, we have the list of 45 verses. So you don't need to take notes of them. And you can also find them in the book. Okay? Uh, what was I saying? So, so uh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, before that, there's the general way of treating sihr. May Allah Ta'ala forgive me, because that should have been before. There's the four ways of making sihr, and before that, so symbolic, it's a, we treat it with 45 verses. The general way. So, if we take the very basic sihr, that is just words that have been done, so you're going to read Qur'an on water and wash with that water for 12 days. Um, and so, this is only a matter of experience, huh? because in the beginning I was using 7 days, and then I made some cases more difficult, so we moved on to 9 days, and then when I went to Africa, I've, I found cases even more difficult, so we moved to 12 days. And that's what we are sticking on for quite a few years. And uh, even if cases are more difficult, we will give them treatment for 12 days, morning and evening. Washing morning and evening to intensify the treatment. So, uh, what do we read? Uh, so, there's a list of verses also we read. Do you have that list? It was supposed to come too, huh? It's on this way. Hmm? It's on this way. Yeah. So, there's a list of verses we read that take about 20 minutes to read. Why? Because we do hijama with the reading. So, we put hijama on the person, and then we read the verses on the person. So, that hijama should not stay more than 20 or 30 minutes. So, it can't be hours of reading. So, that's why I selected uh, verses and how many times we read each verse. So, we just about the time we were going to read. So you can add more things, you can add more, but uh, hijab should not stay more than 20 to 30 minutes, okay? All right, so here we are. These are the verses we read for Rohya. I just need the numbers, just need the numbers. Uh, I already made the photocopies, okay? And now, these are the symbolic verses, and now the one is missing is the diagnostic. That means, how do you know every symbol? How can you tell that he has this kind of sihr? So, we read that on the water, and the person is going to wash with that for 12 days. So, every night, one bottle, empty it on yourself. You can wash in the bathroom, but you have to, yeah, one bottle, a liter and a half. You can wash in the bathroom, but you have to collect the water to throw it outside, so it does not go with the waste. And when that water is there, if you have some pain somewhere, you take that water, wash it again, 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 again. The place that is paining you, that will uh, uh, increase the effect of the water on you. And after that, we use, uh, we use uh, oil. So, after you wash with water, you rub yourself with oil, especially the places where you have pain or you have dysfunctioning. So, as long as the oil is on your body, it will, uh, the Qur'an will continue uh, uh, working on you. And uh, after that, we use also incense, garbati. How do you use it? After you wash with uh, water and you, you massage with oil, you will put uh, something on you, like a big robe, a big uh, jalaba, uh, and then you put it uh, without underclothes, and you put the incense under you, you light it and you put it under you for about five minutes, and that will also chase, chase the genes from your body. So the first time you used this, it was one sister, she was having lover genes, and uh, this bit of it, uh, it was not ending, so, so she had the idea of doing this, so after washing, she, she tied the wrapper and she made rope on the incense and she put the incense under the wrapper. So only the wrapper huh, for the bottom half of the body. And after that, after two days, she saw the jinn in the dream. He did not have any sex anymore. Uh, so his sex was gone. So that was one part of the problem that was solved, you see, as he was raping her, making love to her all the time. So since she did that, so we generalized it. Uh, especially for sexual genes, but for any genes that the person has. So, is it clear for everybody? Uh, is it, okay, alhamdulillah. Uh,
Yeah. The oil you said is the yeah. same anyway. Yeah. So the oil uh, is uh, black seed oil or olive oil or any oil that is that is useful for uh, uh, that is good for a massage. Any oil that is suitable for massage we can use. I mean the, the idea is that the oil uh, will hold the Quran and when you rub with it that oil is going to last because it is oil is going to last on your skin and all that time the Quran is going to work on you. So if it is olive oil it is better because Allah Ta'ala is shaj, shajaratan mubarakatan it's a blessed tree. If it is black seed oil it is even better because it is uh, shifa bin kulida. And uh, what we do sometimes, we prepare a mixture with uh, she uh, butter, she, uh, she butter, she butter, olive oil, and habba soda oil, and we add some cedar, and we add some uh, uh, Hind, uh, coastal Hindi, and we add some other things that uh, that jeans don't like, and we make it green. So, so that will be more and more and more efficient because it has products that jeans don't like, etc. But if it just plain any kind of oil, for example, I was in Madagascar, so we took uh, coconut oil or something like that. There's uh, the oil they use there that everybody uses is coconut oil, I think. And uh, so it's fine. I mean, it will hold Quran and it will work. So that is the basic method, huh? and that is really necessary. That washing, uh, that washing with the uh, Quranic water is very important to remove sihr and jinns and ay. That is the basic method. And for these other kinds of sihr, so if it is eaten, we use sana. If it is in the body, we put hijama. And if it is symbolic, we add these verses. So to add these verses, so when we do the diagnostic of a person, we ask him what problem he has. He would say. Uh, I can't get a job, I can't get married, I can't this and that. So look at the four symptoms. You have first of all the blockages in life, then unusual health problems, then unusual mental states, then bad dreams. So the sihr the, the has first effects and secondary effects. Understand? For example, they do sihr to block your life and they put it in the grave. So, your life is blocked, you can't get a job, you can't get married, etc. And because the sihr is in a grave, you are tired, and you are depressed, and you always want to sleep, and you are dreaming about dead people. So you have physical effect, being tired, you have mental effect, being depressed, and you have bad dreams, dreaming dead people, you see. So it is the secondary effects of sihr that will show us how the sihr has been done, and that will give us the clue for the treatment. So the primary effect, it is the blockages in life, because mostly sihr is done to get your life blocked. So that shows us that there is sihr. And the other effects will show us how the sihr has been done. And that will lead us to the treatment. So this is the way we proceed when we diagnostic someone. You ask him what is his problem, he will say, now the sihr can be done to, to make health problems. They can do for someone to die through cancer, or for some women not to have children, etc. So it can be made. Anyway, if this health problems, for example, someone is having pain in his stomach. So, uh, well, that means he has eaten sihr, and this sihr is meant for something. And, and apart from that thing it is doing, it is also giving pain in his stomach. Now, maybe he has been eating sihr just to make him suffer from his stomach. Well, it could be. Uh, and it could be that this sihr has been eaten accidentally. So it's not meant for him. But he has eaten it because he went somewhere and he drank something that was not for him or ate something that's not. So it's only giving him pain in his stomach, not having any other effect. You see? Anyway, we're going to give him the sana, and that's it. Uh, and that's it. So, whatever effect you can see, we're going to treat it. So, if it is put in the body, it's giving these pains or dysfunctioning in the body. If it is stomach, so it is pains in the digestive pains. And if it is symbolic sihr, it will come in the dreams and it will have effect on the mind and it will have effect on the life. So, all those effects we're going to follow to treat all kinds of, uh, of sihr. Now, uh, I want to tell you that the, uh, the symbols in sihr are large 
symbols. It is large. You have to take it as uh, a class of symbols. For example, for example, the sihr in the grave. There are many ways of doing it. The person can go to a graveyard and bury the sihr anywhere in the graveyard. They can find some graves that are digged in the graveyard, and he will he will um, uh, he will bury it in that grave. After a day or two, someone will be buried in that grave. Uh, he can just take the sand of the graveyard and take it and use it in his workplace. So for any person, he will take a bit of that sand to put inside his cocktail of sihr. Uh, now they can pay the people that uh, make the kafan to take a piece of kafan or to take the water they wash the guy with, of the soap they wash the guy with, or they can put it inside his body or with the kafan, etc. Now sometimes the sorcerers are caught in cemetery and they dig people out and they share their body to pieces amongst them, the groups of sorcerers, and then everyone goes making sihr with those parts of the bodies. So all that is possible. But it all comes back to the sihr related to death.